Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to talk about some brand new lipsticks at Chanel. We're talking about the new Rouge Allure Ink Fusion. I picked up a few shades here. I think they're going to be perfect for fall and for all year round. So let's go ahead and dive into the video. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So there already exists the Rouge Allure Ink, but these are the new Rouge Allure Ink Fusion and it was quite confusing because they look quite similar. Let me just show you the difference. The red one here is the Rouge Allure Ink and this is the Rouge Allure Fusion. So when you look at the testers, you have to really pay attention and look at the bottom for it to say ink or sorry, Fusion, otherwise you will get the wrong one. There is a bit of difference in the packaging. As you can see, the classic Rouge Allure ink is more satin and this one here is matte and the top is different as well. I just thought I would point that out because I myself got a bit confused when I was looking for the new shades. So there are 12 shades to choose from and I picked up two. I'm going to go ahead and read off the description of the product. So it is described as a second skin liquid lip color with impeccable hold, a unique and extremely fine texture for an infallible makeup. It's supposed to be waterproof and ultra wear. A range of intensely matte shades that glide on easily with an exclusive applicator designed for precise, generous, and even application. So something else that has changed is the applicator tip of the product. The Rouge Allure Ink, the old one, has an applicator like this. And the ink fusion is more of a doe foot like this. So something that is stated and that I learned at the counter is that you really have to shake these up quite well because I think there's some sort of oil in here and it can, I don't think it separates, but if you don't shake it up, basically you don't really get any pigment. Like if you just take it right away, you won't really get the color, but if you give it a good shake, I don't know if you can hear that, maybe not then you will get a better result. So it is supposed to give like a second skin finish and this is supposed to be waterproof. So the two colors that I got are number 806 pink brown and number 824 berry. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the pink brown first because it's a bit lighter in color so it'll be easier to remove. Give it another good shake. So this is the color that I got with one application. I didn't have to go back in. There is product on both sides of the applicator here. So what I do is I go in one side and then if I want it to be a bit more opaque, I take a bit extra. But as you can see, once you give it a good shake, it's really opaque and true to color. This is a really beautiful color. It's a nude, but it's almost like your lips, but much better. I like this one because it is a berry. It is a really nice fall color, but it's not super intense. These really do feel like water when you first apply them. It really feels a bit slick. So you do have to be careful with the applicator not to go overboard. I tested out a lot of the darker colors in store and with those ones, it was easy to go over your lips. So if you're getting one of the darker ones, just be careful not to draw over. You can always correct it after, but just my tip for you. And it's really comfortable to wear. I do find that these are more comfortable than the regular Rouge Allure ink. I found that those throughout the day felt a bit more drying. Now I did do a wear test just to see if they would last for eight hours and were waterproof. I noticed a little bit of transfer, but not a lot and not that like if I was eating or more if I was drinking like a coffee, I got a Starbucks and there was a little bit of lipstick on the Starbucks, but it didn't really affect the look of the lipstick. What did affect it a little bit was I got a Greek salad and you know the oils from a Greek salad kind of breaks down the lipstick, but it wasn't bad. I actually was wearing a much darker color and it kind of just faded on the 
inner corner like inner part of the mouth but i could notice it but other people couldn't like it wasn't it didn't break down to the point where i had to reapply it just made it look a little bit lighter so it looked like i had like a lip liner it was actually still really nice so i just wanted to point that out so again this is number 806 pink brown i think that this is going to be a shade that's going to be really really popular because again it's like your lips but better it's a nude kind of but it has a little something to it it has pink it has brown it's just a lovely color i do think that this could be a shade that you could keep in your purse as that standby for whenever you need a little bit of color and you could just want to add something another thing that i noticed with these lipsticks is i did reapply chapstick throughout the day just the regular old Blistex. I know that this says it's for eight hours of wear and you can wear it for eight hours, but I would recommend applying some chapstick. And one thing that I noticed is when I applied the chapstick, it did not break down the integrity of the liquid lipsticks because sometimes if you apply um, a lip balm or a chapstick to your liquid lipstick, it kind of seems to do something to the lip color, but this did not. Okay, this is very beautiful, but I think I need to move on and try out a different color. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about number 824 Berry. This to me is the quintessential fall berry color. It's really pretty. Let's go ahead and test it out. But before I do that, let's give it a good shake. Otherwise, it really won't be as opaque. It's I don't know why, but if you just pull out the wand right away, you won't really get any color. You just get like the oils. So I think that this is one of the ones that you do need to be a bit more careful because it is so dark, you can easily go over your lip line. So just be a bit more careful. So this is number 824 Berry. As you can see, it is such a beautiful color. It's that dark color that has a little bit of lightness to it and it is the color that makes your teeth look white. It, it's that more raspberry berry color and I don't know if it's the blue in it or what it is, but it makes your teeth look white. So, I mean, why not, you know? So this is one of the darker ones that I was testing out to see how it would wear. And this one, um, after I ate the Greek salad, it started to fade a little bit just in the center here, but it kind of just like, it looked very natural and I noticed it, but again, it wasn't something that I felt the need to correct. Just let you know that it is not going to be super glue on your lips, but it is gonna be pretty long wearing anyway. One thing I noticed as well is that this never felt heavy on my lips. Sometimes with a liquid lip, after a, f a few hours, it feels like your lips are this thick. There's like a coat on top of it. This didn't do that. Um, I, in the past with liquid lipsticks, I felt the need to just like scrape it off because it feels so heavy and thick. This doesn't do that. These are pretty comfortable to wear. Not as comfortable as a regular lip bullet lipstick, let's be honest. A regular tube lipstick is more comfortable. Like the Rouge Coco Flash are super hydrating. It's like a lip balm, but if you're in the mood for a liquid lipstick, just in case it gets windy, it's not gonna like drag through your face. This is a nice plus. These colors are really pretty. So yeah, I like these a lot. As I mentioned, there are 12 colors to choose from and there are quite a variety. I think there's maybe three or four nudes. So if you're looking for your lip, but better in a matte format, there definitely will be ones. And there's also some reds. I tried really hard not to get any reds because I have so many already. There's a couple really dark ones. There are some that are darker than this, some that look like rouge noir, but lip format. Those are really pretty. And there's also a couple like bold, like coral, pink, orangey shades as well, which will be nice in the summer months. Okay, I think this about does it for my video. I quite like these. Again, it's not a Rouge Coco Flash, that's a lip balm slash lipstick, so it's not gonna be the same level of hydration, but as far as liquid lipstick goes, it is really nice, and I do think that these are an improvement from the regular Rouge Ink. 
Something about them feels more comfortable, more long wearing, much thinner on the lips, so I like these much more. And also the colors that I came out with are really pretty. These were my two favorite, but there were also some other ones that I came very close to getting. There was a couple metallic finished ones that looked really interesting. At first, you think metallic lip, why would I want that? But there was actually one that was a brick red that had almost like a peachy metallic finish. In the tube, it didn't look like much, but I tried it on my lips and it was actually really pretty. The only reason I didn't get it is because I didn't actually see myself wearing it that often. So I decided to go for items that I actually would wear on a regular day. And I think that the metallic ones are part of the regular Rouge Allure ink. Um, it was called number 206 Metallic Copper. It, it was actually really pretty on the lip. So if you wanna test it out, you can go ahead. I think in theory, you can wear them on top of a regular lipstick, but it just depends how complicated you want your makeup look to be. Okay guys, I think this about does it for today's video. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. This one here, the berry color or the pink brown. Let us know. Let us know what you think of these new Rouge Allure ink fusions. Are you testing them out? Have you tried them out? What are your thoughts? Let us know. So I think this about does it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.